lot of threats, um, wishing death upon me. Um, the numbers don't lie. We had many allegations and we investigated every single one of them. In fact, I challenged my team, did we miss anything? Compelling testimonies from two Georgia election officials took center stage during the most recent January 6th committee hearing. Decided to be an elections worker, like I could have done anything else, but that's what I decided to do. And now people are lying and spreading rumors and lies and attacking my mom. I'm her only child. Going to my grandmother's house. I'm her only grandchild. And eventually, my wife started getting the uh, text, and hers typically came in as sexualized uh, texts, which were disgusting. And then some people broke into my daughter-in-law's uh, home, and uh, my son has passed, and she's a widow and uh, has two kids. And so we're very concerned about her safety also. Well, right now we want to check in with our Amy Lou in Washington with more of that emotional testimony. Well, Frank and Emma, the committee says a handful of elections officials in several key battleground states, including Georgia, face safety risks and death threats as a result of Trump's demands. I felt horrible. I felt like it was all my fault. Emotional testimony from local and state elections officials before committee lawmakers, many who say they were targeted with protests outside their homes and through their phones following the former president's repeated accusations of voter fraud. The uncertainty of that was what was the fear, like, are they coming with guns? Are they going to attack my house? The committee says Trump accused workers in several states, including Georgia, for mishandling ballots, a claim elections officials say had no merit. The numbers don't lie. We had many allegations and we investigated every single one of them. You are asking me to do something against my oath and I will not break my oath. And the committee hailed the elections workers as heroes for not giving in to Trump's demands. Meanwhile, lawmakers say the president's actions not only threatened the staffers' lives, but also led directly to the deadly attack on the Capitol. In Washington, I'm Amy Liu, WJCL 22 News.